the state of plate came and gone. So let's talk about it. Those. What's going on everybody, it's your boy Husky Pop over at NGI and today in this video we are going over the stuff on the state of play. Listen boys, listen boys, massive W, big W's all around, even though there was a very few announcements, we had the very first little trailer pop up somewhere in the middle of the state of play and despite the state of play being 40 minutes and only having two announcements, I left the state of play feeling pretty satisfied. Not just in the VR department, but I was also satisfied as a PlayStation user in general. I felt like there were some big hitters like Stella Blade and a few others that you guys don't care about because this is the VR channel where we discuss VR things and away from the flatness. But, you know, I was still satisfied. So, kicking it right off that bat was Metro. The rumors were true. And I'm seeing some craziness, boys. I thought I was crazy. You know, I thought I was negative. I thought I was the shit talker. But y'all motherfuckers just don't give up. At least there's points of me where I'm satisfied and I can be pleased. But you guys just keep barking, barking, barking. Up all the trees. Y'all want it all. Silver platted and more. I like my boys and girls. I know. We've been treated like shit for a long time. But you gotta give credit where credit is due. And just because it was a rumor doesn't mean it was believable. I mean, shit, there's people still clinging to life, hoping that the Half-Life Alex rumor is real. They're hoping that Sony's hybrid games are real. We've seen none hybrid games other than GT7 on the PSVR 2. That is the only hybrid game we've seen outside of Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 8 or Village, however you guys want to call it. But those aren't Sony IPs. They were saying the rumor was Sony IPs as hybrid games. Now it does take time to make games, especially hybrid games. So could that be coming in the future? I don't know. But like I said, the credit is where credit's due. Metro and VR is going to be phenomenal. Now there's a lot of moaning and groaning. We got another horror game in VR. Boo. Another shooter in VR. Boo. Another this, another that. We already knew about Metro. Yeah, because it was fucking leaked. If it was never leaked, a lot more people would be hyped and a lot more people would be blown away. But I still had to keep that spectacle, that spectacles, that sarcasm take until it was officially revealed. And it looks phenomenal. I don't give a fuck what you think. It looks phenomenal. It looks great. Who cares that it's not a PSVR 2 exclusive? Let's just be happy that Deep Silver is working with vertical games which has a shaky track record but vertical games are pushing out the content of content and that's what matters in vr we need the devs to push that content and keep getting vr to be bigger this is a huge w because this is a massive triple a game who's gonna have a lot of money poured into the deep silver and the people that own vertical games i think it's like kosh media so, huge W, big W, game looks phenomenal, I am a big fan of the Metro series, I played all the Metro games, so you bet your ass, I'm gonna be enjoying this in VR, there's a lot of Metro fans out there hating, talking about a bunch of bullshit, cause they can't enjoy this game as it's not a hybrid game, it's a VR take, just get a VR bro, that's all I got to tell you, just get a VR bro, they act like uh, VR is a virtual boy, it's way more developed than that and you won't understand until you put it the headset on your head and play it for yourself so that is metro i'm super hyped super excited can't wait to play it and shit myself in vr the visuals look good the triple a this looks good you know vertical games has a rough shaky track record so hopefully we get more of a pc port with psvr2 features which already they already announced that it's going to include then more of the quest bullshit the bullshit -er, you know what i mean you know vertical games um <clears throat> i do like vertical games despite my issue with after the fall with them that game is trashified assified my boys trashified assified my boys all right but moving on from that we have legendary tales now listen my boys you guys are going crazy about this game. You're saying it looks like doo-doo fried garbage, shit turds in a basket, dumpster diarrhea, guava juice, shit turds, lava maggots on acid, rolled in pig shit. Listen, the game might look a little flawed. 
the game might look a little N64 polygonic PS1, but damn it, dude, this shit is a full-fledged RPG, looks right up my alley, has tons of skills, it looks like, got a lot of action-based orientation, got co-op capabilities, looks like it's that Skyrim that our Skyrim fans are waiting for, even though it's mainly dungeon crawling, action RP oriented, make a character, get lost in it. I'm sold on this one. Now I have an issue though, my boys, is the damn price increase. They had a couple issues here. We got the price increase. The game was a $30 game. Now it's being bumped up to $55 to $60. Is that PlayStation VR 2 tax? It better not be no PlayStation VR 2 tax. My boys, that shit is trashified, assified. But it is going up on both platforms. Even the PC's price is already at $55 or $60 now. So you can expect the PSVR 2 price to be $55, $60 by now. It doesn't say anything about Quest. So they said they tried to get the game on Quest. And Meta just keeps refusing them for whatever reason. So it looks like it's going to be a PC PSVR 2 game with cross play and cross integration. Or if not cross integration, don't quote me on that one. Cross play game looks amazing despite people hating on it for no reason i think it looks good i think it's going to be fun the price point does worry me a bit and i'm hoping it uses all the features that they said i mean games can say and promise you the world but when you play it it's shitified chits shitified chips due to fried garbage dumpster diarrhea we already know this that's why i cover it on the channel i'm excited for this one hope you guys are too and this is a little bit of a different take than other people because i'm seeing people all over reddit trashing this game talking about it looks like shit talking about they're not gonna play it blah 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 i don't care about all that i come non-biased with the facts i'm excited for this one just like i'm excited for metro vr and another thing about the legendary tales though is that right now currently it says room scaled only i have a big issue with room scaled only because you can cheat the system by outlining your boundary but then you're more prone to fucking shit up in your room and if it's room scaled only are you moving around a lot? Where is the analog stick control? Now, hopefully it's not just room scale only because that's going to be a very big disappointing thing for me. It won't hold me back from playing the game, but I'm going to have to be a lot more cautious in my room while I play the game so I don't fuck up my shit. So hopefully uh, there's standing options and then the, the regular default settings and it's not room scale only like certain games on the PlayStation Store. Now, the last bit of sprinkled in news that we're going to talk about isn't anything crazy it's just ghostbusters <clears throat> let me see that again ghostbusters is announcing and pushing out their slime update slimer is now coming to ghostbusters vr which should have been in the game in the very beginning but nevertheless it is here i own ghostbusters i will i will check out ghostbusters i don't know how the the community is in the game now i don't know the player base i don't know if i'm gonna find people to play with or not but among us is still running strong so hopefully ghostbusters is because it's on all the platforms and it's cross play with all the platforms so possibly it should be fine but that is the last bit of news to cover in this video obviously wanting to get out of the main news and the main thoughts of legendary tale metro vr and slimers coming to ghostbusters that is pretty much all the news i got for you guys at this point those are my thoughts on the news super excited on metro super excited for legendary tales <clears throat> and i'm afraid i'm kind of getting ready to get interested into the ghostbusters and see what the fuck that shit is about now with all that said and done my boys and girls that is your wrap up hope you guys enjoy massive w finally some good news and sony you still got till july to show us your own ips not no fucking third party ips i want to see something from you for vr this shit even if you only give us one if you only give us one game that's your ip for the psvr 2 this year i will praise you and i will take it it just gotta be good and you gotta show it to us we here at NGI, love you guys, thank you guys, God bless you guys, I'm gonna see y'all in the next stream or video. God bless and peace.